Revolution. You know the real terrorists in this world don't go by the name of Paul Rose or Juan Carlos. You know the real terrorists in this world never went by the name of Cochise. Yeah, the real terrorists in this world, they're hanging out in the parliaments. You bet your boots. They're hanging out. They're hanging out in the Kremlin, in Havana, in Peking. The real terrorists in this world are sleeping in the White House. Yeah, they're gonna sleep in Connect City. You bet your city. <laughs> A terrorist. I take responsibility for everything I think. There will be those who will question my right to be free. There'll be those who will question our right for liberty. And then I'll kiss the wild thing. I think I love you, but I'm not sure. I don't know for sure. C'est la première fois que je le vois, je trouve, je trouve ça très bien ce qu'il fait. Je trouve qu'il y, euh, y a du franc de faire ça maintenant dans l'ennui politique dans lequel on est. Là. Qui s'habille en femme, qui parle de suicide des jeunes, je trouve ça très correct. Toi, qu'est-ce que t'en Moi, je l'ai déjà entendu à plusieurs reprises sur Saint-Denis. C'est un de mes préférés. Quand je le vois dans le métro, j'arrête, je l'écoute parce qu'il me fait du bien. Il dit des choses que je pense, puis... Euh, que j'ai pas, disons, j'ai pas la place publique pour dire, moi. Puis je trouve qu'il provoque, je trouve courageux. Ça me fait du bien de l'entendre. Puis j'aime voir les, réac les réactions des gens autour de lui. Pour moi, c'est un objecteur de conscience. C'est quelqu'un qui, euh, qui a du front, comme tu ouais. dis. Puis aussi qui, qui prend des gros risques. Ça, j'admire ça. Ça. Such a vague word. What does anarchist mean? Does it mean you can paint an A in a circle and, and uh, that's it? Or, you know? I believe in liberty, and I'm, and I hope that that I always am a freedom fighter, and regardless of where I am, and I think that those who have the most freedom should be the ones to fight the hardest, and they don't. I appreciate that some of the things that I've been doing in the past few years gets chronicalized, gets, gets. Um, down on tape, I guess. I appreciate that part of it, the, the street theater that I've done for so long. Uh, uh, I guess that's important to me. Um, as an artist, and I consider myself an artist, I, I guess I appreciate the attention. All artists want to be get the attention. Uh, I'd like to put some of that street theater to bed, and this is sort of a way of putting it to bed. It's really a safe place. It's really quiet, and I like being off the road and nobody's calling me faggot out here. What do you do like every day? Like, you you were working on it, but now that, let's say, you, you just like write and play the guitar and... You daydreams. And I daydream. What, what sort of chores do I you get have up to do dawn. every day? Not like the things you like to do. But I mean... I don't do anything like, I don't like to do. Right. I've been get, when it's a decent day out, I go out and I gather wood a little bit and uh, I read and I write. Maybe I'll go into town. I like last week. I was in Montreal for nine days with ASP, the Alliance for Safety of Prostitutes. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it was, I had a project, and, and I was singing in the metro. Mm -hmm. So I would stay out here all the time. I'm not a hermit. And I walk around and play music. And you writing any tunes, Arthur? Yeah. yeah. It's really weird. I feel like John Denver. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe Hill, hi. <laughs> you, mean, you mean you'd like to stop playing in the Metro? Not necessarily stop playing in the Metro, but not that being the vocal point. And that's what I do when people say, oh, yeah, he sings in the Metro, or he's a street musician, and then writes, I'm written off as just that. And uh, I appreciate the street, and I'll always work in the street as a theater, because that's the way I communicate with people. That's the way I chase my dreams, or my nightmares. Well, I've been poor all my adult life, so I, I guess I see, being poor, you can see that there is a class, because you see people who 
drive by you when you're hitchhiking across the country and don't stop. Uh, yeah, I'm class oriented, uh, or aware, not oriented. In fact, my daddy drove the forklift. My my father doesn't drive a forklift. He's retired. And I don't think he ever drove a forklift, but one of them probably did. <laughs> one of my daddies did. But uh, I've. I, I've spoken to you about this before, that um, uh, I'm very aware and I support the workers, but I sure wouldn't want to work. Uh, I, I, I don't think that that's really a good thing to do with your time working. And I, I think the more you work, the more tired you get, and the, the more uh, caught up in the whole bullshit you get, and the more... The, there is some graffiti in town that says, uh, the more you spend, the more you work. And it's just, you know, I, I tried that once, and I, like, I've tried lots of things, and I, that's not for me, work. Uh, I've had to explain my body a lot all my life. I have a, I'm sure that a lot of people explain their bodies. Everybody probably does, but I, I've had to, so I, I feel like uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with, with uh, bodies and nudity and, and uh, talking about how how we would do this in a film to show to show sex or uh, part of my sexuality I've tried to I've wanted to reveal that in, in a way and not to shock anybody and and uh, I hope that in the process of the film that we make that sexuality is sort of present because it's part of my life in fact sometimes it's too much of my life and and that's an obstacle that I have to deal with. Uh, um, I, I deal with drugs, and I deal with food, and I deal with uh, politics, and, and sexuality is another thing that gets in the way of my art. You were asking me about the nun's costume, and it's not necessarily the nun's costume in, in particular. I like to wear clown. I'm a clown. I'm a ragged clown. I like blue jeans sometimes when you're painting the house or when you're trying to look macho. <laughs> But it's really hard for me to look macho, so I think I look more macho in a nun's costume. I, I like the nun's costume. I feel like a little devil in it. it it's a statement. Uh, I really despise the clone, you know. People telling me that I'm a hippy dippy because my hair is long. If I shave my head, then I, does that change me? All, you know. And part of the theme of the film would be uh, a song that I wrote a few years ago uh, about uh, a young boy who who uh, I hang out with uh, the street people, and a lot of the people on the street uh, sell their bodies, men and women. A lot of them are young. And, and uh, I guess after a while you... you and, and that is part of my background, too, so I have a lot of affinity with the street people and prostitution and, and the heavy exploitation that goes down. We're going to repeat all these questions no, again. I've had this uh, interrogation yeah. in Santiago, Chile. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm a damn Yank. I was born in the USA. Yeah. And they told me when I was a little punk, I could do anything I wanted one day. They told me I could be an astronaut. Well, I'm a space cadet. I'm halfway there. And they told me I could be a brain surgeon. And they told me I could be the president of the United States. I come from a racist country, the United States of America, uh, uh, the greatest country in the world. And I grew up in that environment, that racist environment. And I've had to deal with the racism that, that the American heritage has left in, in my blood. And, and I, I have to say honestly that I, I am working on my racism. <laughs> You know, I don't feel like I'm opp any more oppressed than anyone else. And in fact, I feel, well, in a way, because of my, quote, enlightenment, unquote, I, I feel less oppressed sometimes than others and because I'm so aware of the oppression. And, and I think it's a lot more dangerous and a lot more oppressive to, to be oppressed and not realize it. And like a lot of sisters and a lot of men who were who forced in to playing roles because uh, it's a lot easier to, to manipulate us when we're doing that. How about like that? Uh, USA out of North America! 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 For the most part, uh, I don't mind people laughing at me. And I think that the world out there doesn't necessarily object to me being different. I know that the man does. I know that the police do. And the people that try to keep order in, in this world that we live in, this very delicate world that we live in. And, and I see that as the only obstacle, is that they don't like it too much. And, and I know that they would prefer that their sons and daughters didn't see me, but their sons and daughters don't seem to, to, uh, to object so much. I, I've never been hassled by people in general, but the, the establishment, yeah. Get my 
they'll grab me, but then watch out for you know who. Here they come, here they come now. You know my daddy, he hangs out with the doomsday crowd. You know he's waving his flag in a death shroud. My daddy gonna pray his life away. 